I'm Debbie Sattler, Editor-in-Chief of Provider Magazine, and today I'm joined by Stephanie Parks, Chief Development Officer at Reliant Rehabilitation. Welcome. Thank you, Debbie. What strategies or approaches do you recommend for skilled nursing facilities to effectively leverage their therapy departments to enhance patient outcomes and the overall facility performance? We believe in empowering the therapist to practice at the top of their license and to really for the facility to understand what the therapist, each clinician brings to the table and utilizing those skills in a, a very um, interactive, interdisciplinary way. So um, that for your quality measures, for your outcomes, for your referral sources, just every um, aspect, not in silos, but every aspect of operations and clinical is intertwined together with processes and people. Absolutely, we're all working towards that goal of improved outcomes. How has Reliant Rehabilitation adapted and evolved its support for SNF partners in response to shifting payer profiles and the transition to value-based purchasing? So um, you know, again, back on the quality measures, really teaching and training our clinicians to be able to document appropriately and communicate to the MBS professionals so that it correlates into the quality measures and, and the improvements that, um, you know, if it's not documented, it, it, you know, then it doesn't correlate to your quality measures. And we, um, in addition to that, if you are talking about the payer shifts, you know, really risk sharing and aligning, and, and aligning our um, cost with reimbursement and you know, really moving into thinking outside the box on how you know, we can utilize the therapist not just in uh, volume of minutes anymore, but really about the quality and what they're doing and how they're providing it and the communication. It's really important. Well, we all need to be thinking outside the box these days. <laughs> how does Reliant Rehabilitation support the facility MDS process to attain the most accurate coding and reimbursement for Medicaid and Medicare CMI? Yeah, and we know how important that is. You know, it's the getting the outcomes, documenting it, and making sure the reimbursement's aligned and doing it accurately. And so part of that is that, you know, we're talking about the clinicians practicing at the top of their license, utilizing the resources you have on that team. They're highly educated individuals. You know, for years and years and years, um, you know, I hate to say this, but you know, it was as though they were shackled to arbitrary buckets of minutes and you know, under PPS system for a generation of clinicians. And now we're really empowering them, practice at the top of their license, and then teaching the, the therapist and the facility, um, clinical staff, and BS staff on, you know, let's triage, let's walk and, and actually look at these residents. And it's in a different way, right? It's how can we, as a team, get the best outcome for this individual? And then how does that correlate? So having tools and processes to correlate from therapy documentation, which could look very different than MDS speak, and how does that correlate over? I love that, and I love that you mentioned really that team-focused approach. I think that's so critical nowadays. From your perspective, what do you believe are the most significant challenges or barriers that skilled nursing facilities face in providing high-quality therapy services? And how does Reliant work to address or overcome those barriers? Yeah, well, so age-long question was, you know, how do we integrate the teams? And I've talked a lot about that already today. But integrating so they're not in silos, um, you know, there's been this, you know, how does therapy work with nursing and work with the direct care staff? And we really believe that it should be a seamless, fully integrated team. Um, in addition to that, we all know, and I hate to even say that the staffing challenges, but you know, we are still coming out of, uh, and I say coming out of, hopefully, yes. of, of the biggest staffing crisis that healthcare has seen in the, his, in the history of, that we know, right? I've been in the business for over 20 years and it's the most challenging I've seen on, on every aspect of healthcare, right? From nursing, from direct care staff, from, you know, obviously the therapist is what, you know, is near and dear to Reliant. And um, I truly believe that um, having a national provider with a robust recruiting department, with relationships with schools, with relationships with clinicians all over the a workforce that we can mobilize is really important. And it's really important to value those clinicians and, and let them see their worth. And so we work hard with our, with our partners to say, you know, make them part of the team. Make them feel like they're a very necessary and important part of your facility clinical team. Have them in, in meetings with physicians. Let them, again, practice what they were taught to do 
So it's not, again, arbitrary. It's not just treating Ms. Smith. It's we value you. And I think that's really key to the staffing process as well. Well, any solutions to that workforce crisis I know is definitely helpful at this stage for the industry. Can you share some strategies or initiatives that Reliant typically employs in collaboration with those SNF partners to positively impact and improve facility census? Yeah, so another great question. Um, so we, it's really data driven. We actually um, have someone here at the Alka conference speaking on data driven strategies. And so if you have the data, you have the outcomes, you have proven it on your five star, you've proven it on your quality measures, then it's how do you communicate that to referral sources. And one thing that we do is actually take that data, we put it in digestible um, information, right? So it's not just um, spreadsheets, it's literally digestible. And then we train and partner with our marketing professionals both on the Reliant side and on our partner side to make sure that the message is right. So we look at the DRGs coming out of the hospitals, we look at where the referrals are going, we look at think outside the box for upstream and downstream and who can we partner with and really and if there are challenges then how do we improve those challenges to get the message and make sure the message is, is better. Um, there's obviously um, sometimes some miss um, in for referral sources in communities there might be misinformation so we want to make sure that the messaging is clear. Communication yeah. is key, is yeah, what they say. Sure. Well, it sounds like Reliant has a lot of services that are really of great value to folks in the long-term care industry right now. How can we learn more about Reliant and the various services you offer? Reliant-rehab.com, so our website. Um, you can definitely find us there. And on LinkedIn, we have a big presence. So just reach out, find us, and we'll be happy to talk to you about ways that you can partner with Reliant, and hopefully we can improve your facility outcomes, your quality measures, your CMI, and hopefully we can help you staff that building and cut costs. Wow, yeah. all in one package, hopefully, I yeah. love it. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much.